Personal best set this year at 201.88 for Basildon AC, Abigail Ives. In seven, she was fifth in the UK Indoor Championships for Basingstoke and Midhands, Gemma Finch. In six, she has the world qualifying time. She was fourth in the Olympic Games for Kilbarkin, Gemma Riki. It's the European Under-23 champion for Henfield and Harry Gay, Isabel Boffey. In four, the reigning UK indoor champion for Fife AC, Jenny Selman. In three, with a lifetime best of 159.54 for Shaftesbury Barnett, Ellie Baker. In two, the silver medalist in last year's Scottish Championships for Aberdeen AC, Hannah Cameron. And on the inside, the England champion of 2021 for Basildon AC, Isabel Ives. It's an Ives sandwich with six women in between. Stand by for the women's 800 metre final. On your marks. So we had some sharp qualification for this in the heats yesterday. One fifty nine five is the world qualifying mark for those that don't have it. You would say it's not the conditions, but we've just seen a super fast men's time despite the conditions. Isabel Boffy leading, Gemma Riki in second, Ellie Baker third. KG through the first 200 meters. Slow, meaning it will be very quick in the closing stages. Boffy holding the rail. Riki on her shoulder. Already named for the Commonwealth Games for Scotland. Isabel Boffy based in the Commonwealth city of Birmingham. It's getting quicker. Baker running third on the rail. Basingstoke and Midhands have had a good championship. Gemma Finch in the yellow vest for Basingstoke. Now the accelerations come in. Jenny Selman, the indoor champion, moving up to fourth place. Boffey working hard, it's the turn. Boffey, Ricky, Boatner and Selman. Ricky still holding, but the final charges are coming in. It's going to be close, but it's going to be Gemma Riki, Ellie Baker, Isabel Boffey, and then Jenny Selman. 2.06, but it means that Gemma Riki will be going to the World Championships.